What inspired you to get involved in the film contest? Sex ed, especially in Texas, is not very much talked about, but it's around us. I mean, everyone around us at my age is having sex, so why shouldn't we talk about it? So in our project, we compare and contrast uh, a white girl with privilege that has access to contraceptives and a Native American girl that doesn't have access to contraceptives. Reproductive care isn't prioritized, and that's why Avery's character doesn't have access to things like condoms or the morning after pill, and instead has to choose between buying water and buying a pregnancy test, and how that is just another layer of um, restriction to reproductive health. There's no federal regulation over the amount that these companies profit from prices on birth control or condoms or Plan B or anything. And I think there should be federal regulation on profit margins from companies like these. Something that really stuck out to me, and I know like some people may know this, but an uneducated white woman still has a better chance at giving birth than a, an, an educated black woman, which really stuck with me. And of course, you can see celebrities have even had trouble. So it's not always about your income or anything like that. It can literally just be a race. Even looking at my mom, like she didn't have an easy time giving birth with me or my sister. So mm -hmm. it really made us reflect on the past and think about the future. What kind of impact do you think that your films that you've already made so far have had? I think that it's shown a different side to the story because it's not from the point of view of someone that is, you know, later on in life and at a different stage and seeing, looking down at what kids our age are going through, but it comes from the kids themselves. So I think it's a much more genuine perspective that can really show what's going on. They both thought they would never get pregnant, but the funny thing is, it can happen to anyone. Oh my God. I've been making films to kind of have a voice and whatever I feel like talking about, you know, just get a camera out and I'll start creating something. So you definitely intend to keep working with film? No, for sure. It's very intertwined with my life. Uh, I think filmmaking, it is just a great opportunity and a great way to really have that voice and share it with so many people. Interrupt drives systemic changes in our schools and education, while also providing direct education to teens and their caregivers, giving them non-judgmental, evidence-based, medically accurate, and trauma-informed information. We connect them with vital resources, as all teens deserve access to reproductive health care and information to make the best decisions for themselves. I love this event because the teens of our city are talking directly to us. And we're proud that this experience allows even more people to watch these amazing student films and hear their perspectives in the Q&A that follows. 